nobody figured you were a war hero. You were just another one of the guys that came back. Uh, and I was one of the few that got out that early. See, when we got back from over, when I got back from overseas, Kay and I went to Florida, to Miami Beach for an R and R rest and re uh, rehabilitation for a month. And uh, married people went to Florida, and the single ones went to California. So we we were down there and had to, and my mother we took. Were able to kind of yeah, my, uh, my folks took care of our boy, Danny, uh, which I hadn't seen. He was five months old before I saw him. And uh, so we had time to get rebonded and, mm -hmm. and so forth, you know. Uh, and then I went back to school, but not until August or whenever it started again. See, I got out in June or July, I think, I think July. Sure. So I had a... I had, we had a month in, and then and when we were there at, in Florida, we uh, assumed, and everybody assumed, we were going to go to Japan. Yeah. And, uh, but something happened when we were in Florida. It just, everything changed just o almost overnight. We, we didn't have training sessions anymore. We'd, we had more time to ourselves, and it was, well, before I left, they said, we're going to send you to Jefferson Barracks for discharge, Jefferson Barracks, Missouri. And I said, what about uh, Japan? They said, no, we're not worried about that. And uh, wasn't long after that, they dropped the bomb. Oh, right. And uh, they knew what was going on, but we didn't, of course. Right, right, right. In fact, in, uh, uh, I was out of the service, but got from J JB and was home before I went back to college. And, and Kay and I and another couple good friends of ours was heading to Waterloo uh, on the uh, day that the VJ was declared. And uh, uh, we stopped on the bridge on old Highway 21 going to Waterloo and danced on the bridge. <laughs> 